Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to Senui Healing. I hope you guys are doing well. Today's reading, today's message is specifically for those who feel that they're going through a big transition, a transformation, or you guys are feeling a shift of energy surrounding you. If you guys are going through something that is a change in your life or just changing your patterns, your routines, it's going to be a reading for you. We're going to take a look at the details about that and we are going to get guidance when it comes to that transition or transformation here and what needs to be released at this time in order to facilitate this transition. All right, so I have four paths for you to choose from. Pile one is this little princess. Pile two is this Batman. Pile three is the prince. And pile four is this figure. So I'll show you the piles, I'll let you choose. Hi pile one, you guys chose this princess. So let's take a look at your cards. You have temperance. You have the seven of pentacles. The Ten of Swords, the Page of Cups, we have um, Full Moon in Gemini, it says the answers you need are coming, Free Yourself from Pain, the Red card, and then we have Rest and Rejuvenate, number 19. Alright, Pile 1, okay, here's someone... Um, Okay, I feel that someone here, uh, you've been waiting for some kind of answer, some kind of apology, or some kind of healing here, pile one. Someone here that you might have been waiting for some kind of apology or message from someone uh, that might not be coming or hasn't come uh, as you were expecting it to come. It could be something that you might have been waiting for a long time, or you could have just... Um, felt that this was something that was uh, meant to happen or was owed to you. And this is something that could have taken you a lot of time or energy investment. You guys could have invested a lot of energy in terms of that connection or in terms of that um, even emotional attachment with this person. And this might not be coming here, Pile 1. You guys might be feeling at this time um, that your energy could be low and you're trying to move away from it or even you guys might have been very very patient waiting for something that you're realizing right now is uh, something that you need to move on from or you need to release at least at this time closing that cycle is going to be more beneficial rather than waiting for it um, you know in a very long term you're not sure what this is happening or what's going to happen next so many of you are deciding to heal and move on or move away from this idea or from this fixated thought. Uh, I'm hearing, first of all, here, Pile 1, if you guys recognize yourself in this situation, I'm hearing that there could be another message for you in, in one of the other piles as to what's coming next once this is released. So this is just a side note if this resonates. So yes, so you had to let go or you were letting go at this time and it's going to be a time of release of healing and you are going through it at this time where you just gone through this here by one I'm sensing you guys are seeing the horizon opening up for you still or you guys are starting to see that the sun is rising again and that things are not that gloomy or that dark anymore you guys could be also um, I'm hearing pampering yourselves or you guys are just rediscovering that part of yours that is uh, more playful or that is more uh, fun to be around. You guys are just uh, re-emerging in this kind of energy, releasing this darkness, especially around the Ten of Swords energy. If there was a difficult ending or again a difficult thing that you had to let go of, that you truly didn't want to or you, your heart was uh, aching to release, you guys are finally moving on with this Page of Cups and just deciding to uh, live in the moment and live um, day by day, enjoying the, the good life, the good times, having more fun with your friends, and, you know, letting your inner child have some fun here, pile one. 
you're working on that and this is going to bring a lot of healing and um, I'm hearing a leap forward and this is also here it says free yourself from pain so many of you could have gone through this pain with this ten of swords especially if it's something that you have invested a lot of energy in with the seven of pentacles or something that you might have thought was worthy of your investment was going to give something in the long run or was going to give something in the long term that it was a long-term investment worthy of your time here pile one this is a pain this has brought you pain and it's time for you to release it and you know it here pile one you are moving on from it or you have been working on moving on from it uh, you guys could have been speaking to friends or maybe I'm hearing neighbors, friends, people who are close to you speaking about it or that you need to speak to friends or someone who will understand or at least listen to you. They don't have to understand, but at least listen to you. This can help you uh, move away from the pain and release it somehow. Even just speaking about it, you'll feel that the weight is not as heavy almost like sharing it with someone else and you're being called to rest and rejuvenate at this time here pile one especially with the temperance card some of you could be sagittarius in this pile especially with the temperance card there's a lot of need to rest take time off maybe take a few days off and rest and have some fun enjoy a, a bit of time off enjoy i'm hearing time by the water if you can go for a swim or if you can go for a walk by nature even time off alone, you can actually rejuvenate much better here because this is closure. You have 10-10 in your reading, so you're closing a big cycle here and it's really important that you take time off and rest, you know, for a few days, few weeks in order to actually accept, accept this new energy that's coming in for you. The fresh energy is coming for you and it's going to need you to be ready in terms of your... Um, rest you know in terms of your physical body the, the physical body will be receiving a lot of downloads or insights very soon this fresh energy will need you to have regenerated this fresh energy will need you to be uh, a little bit more rested within your body and within your own emotions so it's really important that you take that time at this uh, right now um, and rejuvenate because the energy is coming quite fast here towards you because here I also have the answers you need are coming as soon as you release as soon as you let go as soon as you accept this ten of swords and walk away look at this beautiful ten of swords there's not even swords here this person is just walking away they're deciding to choose themselves and they're walking towards a new horizon a new beginning as soon as you're actually ready for this or as soon as you embrace this energy and you rest a lot of answers are coming towards you here especially i'm hearing if you guys again have been waiting for an apology or i'm hearing some kind of explanation this is coming your way here pi one please trust in this answer that you answers here that you've been waiting for they are coming you guys could have closed your eyes to this answer the mess the message could have it could have come your way at some point it could have been signs from your angels but you were so exhausted or you were going through so much pain it was very difficult for you to actually see the truth or see this fully the full moon in gemini could mean something for you something could have happened around the full moon of, uh, in gemini would happen i think in early winter this year so this is coming here very soon the answers are coming there is no need to be stressed out and actually the more you stress about it the more uh, ex um, you know exhausted you are it's the more it's difficult for you to uh, feel good and i want you to see all these people here they have their eyes closed you see they all have their eyes closed these three people in all your cards people have their eyes closed there is a need to close your eyes take time to nap take time to meditate take time to reflect and just release understanding that the seeds have been planted for whatever you've been trying to manifest they have been planted you already have invested that time and right now the only thing you can do is be in this page of cups energy and have some fun the only time that you are should be open is to have a bit of fun a bit of maybe flirtatious energy open to it um, just enjoy your life just enjoy the moment page of cups is very light-hearted energy and i'm also hearing wearing more pinks or more pastels when it comes to your colors is going to help you heal your heart pile one or help you um 
increase your joy, your day-to-day -day joy, your joy in every little moment, in every little gesture, in every little thing that's happening around you, just enjoying that time. Eating more fish, I'm hearing, if you guys like to eat fish, eating more fish is going to help you release a lot of the pent-up energy or anger here. Someone here, I'm hearing you guys had to leave a passionate project or had to close up a chapter that was actually really important for you. You had to release and let go because of maybe gossip, people, um, situations that really didn't work in your favor. And uh, all of a sudden, this door was closed and you just didn't expect it or you felt that it was unfair. Just trust that whatever you planted, those seeds, they're going to be growing. And yes, again, if you feel that this message truly resonates, there could be another uh, message for you in one of the other piles. Um, anyway, that's what I have for you, my beautiful pile ones. I hope you enjoyed your reading. And I'm really happy that you guys are watching. If you did, please don't forget to like. And I'll see you later. Bye. My pile two, you guys chose the Batman. Let's see. You have... Page of Pentacles, the Strength card, we have Death and Rebirth, we have the World, ooh, things are closing here. You're very close to achieving your goal, give us Moon. We have Ruby, Rejuvenate Your Body, a lot of rest in these piles, and Happy Family, beautiful, number four. All right, here, pile two, you guys have 444, four, four. you have 888. Eight, eight. So, 88, eight, sorry, and 44. 44. Uh, four, four. No, sorry, it is three fours. No, sorry, 44 four and 88. Eight. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> Anyways, pile two. What do you need to hear about your transition? First of all, this is definitely a confirmation of a big transformation in your life at this time. The world and the death card. I mean, this is if this is not closure, if this is not an ending, then what, what is the ending? This is definitely an ending, a closure of something here. But it's more than just uh, finishing up a project or just closing, um, you know... Um, a random thing because it's these are two major arcanas and you also have the strength card this is a major event at this time that's happening for you whether you know it or not you guys are going through a huge transformation and the transformation is going to be remembered when you're going to look back in let's say next year in a couple of years this time is going to be remembered and you're going to understand the meaning of this time you're going to understand what was going on that you might have not seen at first because the major arcana is they usually go over a long period of time especially that you also have the strength card so what's going on here pile two again i'm, I'm sensing a big ending major ending of a big cycle here in your life that's going to regenerate you here especially with the rebirth you guys have gone through a lot and it needed a lot of things needed to be released at this time because a new portal is opening up for you this doorway here if you don't release what's around you or what needs to be released because it's already dead actually it's really hard to go into into this new beginning here and this rebirth with the page of pentacles you guys could be planting a new root somewhere else pile two you guys could be deciding to start a new job, a new project, a new uh, life in general. You guys are starting something completely fresh and this, this is very rooted. Um, I'm hearing some of you, I'm looking at these cards, some of you, you've been trying to manifest for a long time a pregnancy. And um, there is a pregnancy coming your way. It is going to be first time to rejuvenate your body. You guys are going to be working on being healthier something is closing up like a phase of your life is closing up and it's going to make you strong within your body to rejuvenate it and to be able to manifest a pregnancy especially with this very big moon here and the page of pentacles and happy family i see here that someone who has been trying to get pregnant could be getting a baby boy others of course it doesn't have to be a pregnancy for everybody but others i see here you could have been trying to manifest a family or a, a, um, a stable setting when it comes to your connection or maybe a love connection. And it wasn't easy, but it's something that's coming your way. It's something that you could have been wanting to achieve for a long time. 
and this is coming very fast towards you this is coming after you guys close this cycle here this big closure after this closure is done this is coming your way and you guys are going through it at this time you guys are needing a lot of strength you guys could be needing a lot of physical strength actually to go through it so for example if you're going through a move and this necessitates that you guys are heavily uh, um, embodying your your uh, your chi you know your your uh, energy you guys could have to be very strong let's say to move to go elsewhere you guys could have to use your body a lot and you're being called to rest once in a while because there's going to be a lot of strength needed from you during this time of closure here and yeah it, during that time you guys are going through it but then if you've been trying to manifest a new home a happy family here i'm hearing you guys could be moving with your family and wanting to have a fresh start elsewhere because where you guys are at at this moment is not working anymore this is going to happen it's going to happen in a very great way with the world card it is very positive closure even if you guys could be going through the death card as well which could be a little bit difficult to handle having to let go of things that you truly care about this is going to open up a doorway for you with this page of pentacles you guys are going to be able to root yourself elsewhere and it's going to be very successful a new beginning that's going to be very successful i'm also hearing someone here could have been uh, having troubles with your teenagers or maybe your parenting was have uh, was difficult for you if you have a teenager at home or you've had to to deal with your own children here things could have been very tough uh, in the couple past couple of years this is actually going to be shifting the energy is shifting you guys are actually opening a new phase of happy family this is closing that that phase of um difficulties here with your children or even I'm hearing even finding a path. Maybe your child is trying to find a path. Where do they need to go study? What are they want to do next in their uh, school setting? And this is coming your way. It could also be your your own um, your own life that you're trying to figure out. This is actually going to be achieved very soon. I'm also hearing here, pile two, there is going to be a lot of abundance that is being brought to you with the strength and the ruby card. A lot of abundance could be in terms of wealth. I mean, going through this transition is going to help you create more wealth, increase your wealth, and increase your physical body. A lot of pentacles, so pentacles are also the body, uh, um, on top of the money, of course, and the material wealth. So I'm sensing here a growth in when it comes to your pentacles. So healing your body, your body has become strong, Pokemon stronger, stronger than ever. If you had some kind of physical illness, you guys are going to be um, overcoming it very soon. And you're also uh, going to get more uh, ideas or more opportunities to ground a career that's going to be very um, successful for you. You guys could see 10, 13. 10, 10, 10, 13. Scorpio, I have Scorpio energy, Leo, double Leo, Scorpio. Um, and I'm also sensing the fourth house here with the happy family, number four. So some of you are working right now on your fourth house, trying to heal a few patterns. But more than that, I feel that you guys could be... Um, definitely strengthening your family roots or your uh, uh i'm hearing you guys could be even going back to your pay your um, country of origin to strengthen something here that needed to be strengthened or even heal something that you wanted to heal maybe in the summer you guys had a chance to go or you will have a chance to go to meet your family and to kind of strengthen some certain bonds I'm hearing the name Jennifer. Okay, I'm also hearing here someone uh, want to be working on some kind of um, um, how do you call that in English? Spectacle, like a 
a comedy show, not a comedy show, but like a show, maybe a theater show or something here that you have to present something in front of others. It could be a show, it could be also presenting something in front of a classroom or presenting as a as someone who's uh, maybe a public speaker. I'm here in TED Talk. You guys could be working on something like that. This is going to be very successful here, pal. So if you are working on something like that, you will need to ground yourself a lot. Make sure that you drink a lot of water while you're working on this and ground yourself and spend time in nature. You're going to have a lot of great ideas while you're working on uh, that project. Uh, anything that has to do with public speaking, it's going to be important that you ground yourself first before going for it. So I'm here in art show, theater. Some of you could be doing um, a play or presenting in front of a classroom or presenting. I'm hearing your thesis. Maybe you might be presenting something important here very soon and it's going to be really great here so make sure you take time off to regenerate and rejuvenate and increase your strength when it comes to your body and your health in general and one last message i'm getting here pile two someone here was going through a big obstacle definitely something very difficult that you needed to go through uh, that is actually being released with the death card, you're going to feel so much lighter, so much happier. Um, it was a big obstacle, especially around your family, your family roots, um, the family you're creating, I'm hearing, not necessarily the family you have, but the family you want to create or the family you're creating. You guys could have been going through a huge obstacle, challenges, not knowing if you're going to be able to stay with your family or stay with your husband or your wife or stay with this long-term partner, you guys are going to feel relieved very soon because this is going to transform and you guys are going to have a new beginning with the world card. All right, my beautiful pile twos, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you at your next reading. Bye-bye. Hi, pile three. How are you guys doing? You guys chose the prince. Let's see your cards. You have the Hermit, you have the Ace of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, yellow, and it says purify your body. Oh, the Devil card, absolutely. Communication is key, New Moon in Gemini, and you have Archangel Raphael, the Fourth Chakra, number 38, which is number 11. Some of you could be seeing 11, 11, 666, 999, 222. Yeah, 111, 666, 999, 222. Okay, pile three. What's going on here? So pile three, okay. Uh, someone here is, first message I'm getting, someone here is receiving an important opportunity, an offer, something here important that's being offered to you or it's coming very soon, or has just been offered to you. You guys could have just started an opportunity at work or started something here. I'm hearing buying a home. You guys have started here something very concrete, you know, uh, in the material world that you just have accepted or you just are starting at this time. And this can bring you a lot of conflicts within you. You guys could have had to compete for this. It's bringing a lot of conflict and it makes you feel... Um, that things could be challenging, especially with the devil card. You guys could be doubting yourselves. You guys could be feeling like uh, you might not be good enough or that things are um, challenging around this opportunity. Uh, it's going, it could be part of, you know, the fact that you are uh, feeling insecure maybe around it. You're not sure if you deserve it. You're not sure whether you, you're going to be able to handle it. Some of you are competing maybe in a, I'm here in a study place, you guys could be competing for a promotion, you guys could be competing for something here that you have, uh, I'm hearing you deserve, that you definitely deserve, but you need to know that here, path three. And I'm seeing the hermit energy, you're being called to look within, go um, within, find your inner truth, your inner wealth from within, in order to be able to conquer this devil energy. If you are in this situation, this is the first message I'm getting. So you will have to purify your body with this uh, yellow. It's interesting because all the piles right now, they're just talking about rejuvenating the body, purifying the body, cleansing. So cleansing the body in order to be able to activate your solar plexus. Look at the yellow. 
This is the solar plexus pile three. You guys need to activate your solar plexus to balance it out in order to have the confidence and to be able to compete for this opportunity that is worth it for you and that you deserve. You have worked hard for it here, pile three. You deserve it. And this is something you need to be reminded of. I have Virgo on this uh, table. Virgo, I have Capricorn. Okay. And I also have Gemini with the new moon in Gemini. So here, pile three, you guys could go through doubts. You guys could be Virgos, very analytical. Maybe you guys are doubting yourselves. Or uh, I'm also hearing self-hatred. You guys could be struggling again with insecurities within your body or within your work setting here. You're being called to go within. Look at the heart chakra here. Archangel Raphael might have been contacting you to work with you or could have been protecting you at this time. I'm also hearing that an ancestor here, an older ancestor, a male ancestor here, could be a grandpa. I'm also hearing for some a dad. An ancestor here that has been protecting you and has been trying to contact you through your heart, trying to reactivate your heart chakra and your solar plexus in order to help you regain the confidence that you need. Pile 3, you're also being called that if you want to handle this energy, one way you can do it is by communicating. Communication means anything that's come in out of the body. So it could be speaking, right, to someone about it. It could also be writing about it. This was the first thing I was feeling, journaling, because of the hermit energy. I do feel you needing to communicate this in a very single way. So not with one-on-one -on -one or with someone going within and communicating with yourself or with your guides or with your ancestors here, asking for answers. Writing, automatic writing can help you get those answers or even sleeping and receiving the messages at night. But I'm sensing a lot of you can receive that message very clearly if you guys are journaling or you guys are writing um, about anything that is important right now for you to write about. That communication, it can come out in your writing and you guys can be receiving that answer and uh, almost healing or help yourself understand yourself better or heal that solar plexus and your sense of confidence here. Let's see if we get other messages here, pile three. This was the first message. Okay, pile three, I'm also hearing here, um, that someone has been isolating themselves uh, because of very toxic and energy or toxic environment. Some of you might have felt that it was needed to isolate yourself, that you needed to take a time off or that you needed to be alone and think through or just take time off in general because you guys could have suffered from people attacking you, people competing with you, people uh, even aggress being aggressive with you or trying to um play you play games with you um i'm also hearing narcissistic behaviors people really being very selfish and taking a lot from you you guys had to uh take time off you guys could have had to uh isolate and really go within and connect with your heart chakra and feel a little bit better this was a right thing for you to do here, Path 3. It was a good instinct. You guys, you have been receiving signs from the universe and you listened to them. You did the right thing. This is a confirmation that you did actually need to release those people. It was the right thing for you to do because it was the only way to release the confusion. So if there was confusion when it came to speaking to them, when it came to having a conversation and you always felt there was a lot of conflict, no matter how much you tried to explain yourself or talk to them or get to a, a compromise there was a lot of conflict it was needed to go within and to take time off in order to release that confusion and let others come back okay you're gonna have to let them come back once they're healing or once they feel better once they have connected with their hearts again and released a bit of this ego energy here and they're coming back with this ace of pentacles they will come with an apology they will come maybe even with a gift they will come with something knowing that um they will have to offer something back in order to get your attention or to get back in your good graces they will come with a communication they might be sending you a message or might communicate with you very clearly this time any kind of confusion they will be releasing you did the right thing here pile three this person or this group of people they will be more clear they will want to 
uh, communicate with you, which they might have been closed off, actually, even if they pretended that they want to talk. I feel there was so much ego, they just wanted to win at all costs. Here, they will finally be able to communicate with you because they had to purify their body. Something was very toxic within them. They might be, they might have been in substances, taking substances maybe, or others might have just been in a, a state of being uh, confused because of their ego or because of the things they were attached to. You know, the solar plexus is also about healthy ego when it's balanced. They needed to balance it out to come back with an open heart and speak to you more frankly, more truly, and be more honest, okay? This is going to happen here for you, Pile 3. You did the right thing. This Hermit Moon actually served you well, Pile 3. So don't feel bad or don't feel, uh, don't, you know, doubt yourself around those uh, decisions. You did the right thing and you can continue being here with, with yourself and being alone because it's much better than being in toxic environments. It's best to be alone than to be in very toxic environments. Okay, I'm hearing one more message here, Pile 3. Someone here is hesitant to contact you. There is someone here who has a lot of feelings, emotions for you. They're hesitant to contact you because they feel um, maybe left out in the cold or they feel that they're not good enough. They have a lot of doubts. Their doubts, they're not connected to you, Pile 3. I want you to know that. Their doubts are very much connected to their own shadow side. They are very... Um, sexually attracted to you with the five of wands and it's like they can't really trust themselves whatever communication they're bringing forth they feel that the communication will come off uh, strange or awkward because yes they have real feelings and emotions yeah but they have trouble communicating them clearly and they will feel or they're feeling at this time that it's better to stay away they don't know how to bring this communication forth towards you because they are suffering right now and they're going through this. They're going through this conflict within themselves. They're trying to understand themselves. They're trying to get out of this uh, very strong devil energy. They could feel very karmically attached to you. They could feel that you guys are uh, so connected. And they could feel that they're almost dependent on you, codependent on you here, Pile 3. And this is something that scares them. This is something that they need to look into before coming back and speaking to you so let them do the work pile three they will come with the communication sometime all right pile three i hope you enjoyed your reading if you did please don't forget to like thank you so so much for watching i'll see you later bye hello pile four you guys chose this little figure okay let's take a look at your messages we have walking away number 27 which is a nine a win-win outcome is forecast full moon in libra we have pink let love in number four we have the six of swords we have the knight of pentacles we have the two of pentacles and we have the knight of pentacles again oh two knights of pentacles so this is a very strong energy here for my beautiful pile uh, four you guys have the Knight of Pentacles as a very strong energy here. Okay, so what am I picking up here, Pile 4? Someone here is making a decision or has just made a decision to move on or walk away from a situation that was not, uh, was not accepting their growth or was not... Um, giving them the opportunity to grow or to find balance or to find uh, yeah balance within themselves so some of you here are leaving a connection or leaving a situation or even a job that was not permitting you to fee to find a balance or to find um, yeah more balance here or a good uh, sense of equilibrium within your life so you're moving on you're moving away uh, I'm also sensing here that someone else could be coming your way with the Six of Swords, someone traveling your way um, with this Knight of Pentacles energy, trying to uh, manifest something stable with you. This person, I'm hearing for some, it could be an old um, partner, maybe an ex-husband, an ex-wife, someone that you might have had a child with. This person, it doesn't have to be, of course, but this person is someone who is um, very grounded. 
I'm sensing here Capricorn energy, Taurus, Virgo, very grounded. It took them a while to make a decision and now they're walking away from the negative energies they could have had in their life. They're closing a process here and they're to turning towards you. They're walking here towards you, the Knight of Pentacles. They're walking and they're coming your way. And they're looking for a win-win outcome with you. Full Moon in Libra. This is about partnerships. Libra is always about partnerships. They might want a partnership with you, especially with the let love in. They might want you to accept them in. They might want to uh, offer you something here, an opportunity here to be together or to have a partnership. It could be, it doesn't have to be love. It could also be a work partnership here, a colleague uh, or someone that sees you as an opportunity to have uh, something um uh, tangible but also something uh, long term here in terms of partnership they want you to let this love in or to let them in in terms of this uh, offer that they will be bringing to you path four i'm also sensing here someone if it's a love situation someone here has an opportunity to decide between two people two people that are coming your way you might have to decide between one of these two uh, one person you might already be with or one person you might already have a strong connection with or you're already, um, you know, somehow interacting with. And another is actually coming from afar, someone who is not in your vicinity at this time. You're going to have to make a choice between these two. This is going to require you to li really listen to your heart with this heart chakra energy, the pink really let yourself decide with your heart what's truly going to bring a win-win outcome it's really important that you actually follow your truth and find your own balance and decide what's best for you yeah i do see someone here walking away from a current situation and accepting another proposal or another offer here of love from maybe someone else who's coming away or coming from another country or another place offering you something Archangel Michael here is confirming what I just said. Okay, another thing, Pile 4 here. Be aware if someone has been trying to confuse you or has been trying to offer you something but never truly offered it to you. Beware of that kind of behavior. An offer is an offer, but it has to be real. It has to be clear. If you've been uh, and there's some kind of illusion or someone has been trying to put some kind of illusion, making you think that they're going to be offering it to you or bringing you love or something like that, or even offering you a contract, they could have been putting you in some kind of illusion and the contract was never coming. was so slow and no... Uh, um, no movement or no nothing was actually moving forward you did the right thing to walk away or you should be walking away you should move on and move to better um better place calmer calmer uh, horizons here because there's going to be something else that's worthy of your attention and worthy of your time so if someone has been trying or has been faking the fact that they will be offering you something either in terms of love or in terms of a contract be aware of that kind of behavior. Be clear with yourself. Libra is also calling you for some kind of discernment. Be fair to yourself. Be fair to yourself here, pile four. Uh, very clearly decide what's right for you. Be um, logical and be discerning here. Libra, Queen of Swords energy, the Justice card here. Be very discerning and have standards and boundaries with those people because they could have tried to confuse you because that offer was actually never coming. This this is the slowest night. It's very slow. It's seeming to come, but the truth is the love never actually showed up or this job offer never actually showed up. I also see here, Pai, for some of you are embracing your divine feminine with this beautiful pink energy. You're embracing your divine feminine, you're taking care of your body. This is very strong Venus energy here with Libra and this pink. You guys are embodying the, the goddess Aphrodite, the goddess Venus. You guys are connecting with your body again, taking care of your hair, taking care of your skin. This is really good. This is going to help you um, release your doubts, especially if you had doubts in terms of your looks or if you were struggling in terms of... Um, Feeling good within yourself or so your body image here. Any kind of issues with your body image, you're releasing that because you're taking care of yourself on a very day-to-day -day level. 
It doesn't have to be a big thing. You don't have to like change something drastically. It is really on a day-to-day -day level. You're doing something good for yourself. You're connecting with your body on a day-to-day -day level. And you're walking away from energies that are not serving you. Because you're putting yourselves first here, Pile 4. And that's um, truly going to be beneficial for you. And it's going to help you find the right love for you. You're going to be able to let the type of love that you truly want in. Because you're going to value yourself more. If you left a situation or if you're deciding to leave a situation, that person might not let you go, prior four, just so you know. This person is going to have a lot of trouble releasing you or letting you go. This person might very much struggle with your move or with you letting this go. This person might um, try to come back in your life or might try to kind of catch you or not let you go. There is someone here who wants, I'm hearing a rescuer, protector, someone here who wants to help you with whatever situation you're in. If you're finding yourself, again, in those situations, difficult ones, trying to walk away but not able, trying to move on but unable. There is someone here who is coming to help you, who is going to help you in a very, um, in discussion you know, discussing with you, conversations, not in actually doing something specifically, but they're going to help you when it, can't, when it comes to speaking to you. They could actually give you insights with their words, with their talks. You guys could get um, uh, relief when you guys are speaking to them. When it comes to conversation, let this person help you. Just speaking with them, it's going to help you find balance and find a uh, truth within yourself it's going to help you find the right type of discernment that you need right now right for so let this person help you if if someone uh, offers help or if someone is offering to speak with you or to have a conversation with you let this person help you with that All right, I'm also hearing pile four. The night is really important. You guys could be prospering a lot at night. You guys could be working on a project. If you guys like to work at night or study at night or write at night, take advantage of that energy at this time. Uh, take advantage of the night energy if that's something that you like or you find that you uh, are able to produce more or have more inspired thoughts or even write more if you're a writer. Uh, take advantage of that energy. You're going to be able to uh, harness it more and find stability and even um, be more productive. Just go for it. It doesn't really matter what people tell you. If you feel that that's right for you, it's going to be able to actually help you find uh, concrete ways to bring forth maybe your business plan or work on your, um, I don't know, your project or your uh, thesis or I don't know what you're doing, uh, your exams. Just go for it. Move away with your own rhythm. Work on your uh, stuff. It could take it could take a lot of time, but slow and steady wins the race, right? With the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. You know, it might take a long time, but hard work always pays off. This is very strong Saturn energy in your reading, Pile Four, with Libra and Capricorn. A lot of Saturn energy. A lot of lessons that you're learning at this time, and they're going to be very beneficial because anything that you put work in with Saturn, it's going to work. It's going to give fruits because those lessons are worthy. All right, my beautiful Pile Four. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please don't forget to like. I'll see you later. Bye. Love you.